Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about AI agents, Automation Anywhere's AI agents, how you can create your own AI agents, what are the options available for you to create and the full walkthrough of the entire platform is what we are going to see in this video. So without wasting further time, let's dive in. We have logged into the AI agents of Automation Anywhere interface and you can see here the first very first screen and the dashboard that you see is to create a new project so anything you want to do in AI or build an AI agents right you have to create a new project you can create it from here as well as from here so I have created one project already but let's create one more project name um, let's let me give it a test or demo let me create it so as soon as you create a project you get this kind of an interface where in the left pane you see various options at the top you have a name of your project and then within your project you have these options like new chat action then assistant age agents knowledge base documents automator if you exp expand this automator you have an option to create flows runs and JSON editor so various different options then you have an option of public tools you can create a chatbot and integrate it with your website or any public website as well and then there's a layer for there's an option for unit testing and analytics and then we have a settings where you can manage your settings related to your API key project style look and appearance fine-tuning your models logs billing information roles so in this video I'm just going to cover a walkthrough of this workspace and then depending on your response I'll create further videos how to use this platform make sure you comment down below and like this video and share it with your friends as well so you can create a chatbot based on a knowledge base so here you can see an option of knowledge base now knowledge base can be a PDF document or a list of articles or any web resource for example you have a huge set of data and you want to act that as your knowledge base to your chatbot suppose on my rp feeds website i have created 50 plus articles on a360 and if i give that as a knowledge base to this chatbot so any query which relates to that data source you will get answers from from that data source so for example i have created an article of how triggers work in a360 so you if you type anything related to triggers or uh, how to work with triggers or what are triggers in a360 then you will get a concise output because i have that in my knowledge base detailed deep dive we will cover in subsequent sessions then we have actions this action is already created which says compare two documents and return the difference so it will only just compare take an input so document one document two and then it will compare those documents and return the difference so similarly you can build small small modules or actions what we call here and utilize them in your either in your chatbot or in your public available chatbot so there are ways to integrate your actions uh, in different ways then we have assistant assistant again is a is like in chat gpt you have small small assistants for example this is ai email these these are uh, options which you see here are the default templates you can build your own assistants and also get that added here okay so for example the simple summary so if you drag and drop a file it will create a summary of that document for you then we have agents here so you can create your own custom agent and that agent will perform what you define it to do for example here there's an ai google search agent what is what does it do it is a default agent again as a, as a default template or templates are already available in the platform just to know how they work and how they have configured if you create your own custom agent then that will be available here and it can be replaced you can make it as a default agent and tag it to your chatbot then we have a knowledge base knowledge ba in knowledge base you can 
as i was saying right um if i have an article on any of the website you can crawl that website it will crawl the, your website gather all the information that you want it to and that will act as a knowledge base for your chatbot or your agent you can add documents also pdf documents uh, there are type of documents available so you can add these type of documents into your knowledge base also you can create a document based on like if you want to you want to write it and create it at the moment something some some resources you want to feed into your agent and that does not exist and you want to create it so you can create it here as well when it comes to document here they have given a separate section which will list all your newly created documents then coming to automator here you can design your flows so you can create your new flow or use a template or from scratch it is something like a web flow where you define your flow for what happens next or like you build a board right in automation even similar to that then here it shows you the run basically all your flow that you have ran multiple times so it will list here connections is something for example you did an integration with some app or something like that so that connections you can build here and use them in your ai agents so various options are available integrations are available already json editor is something like you create a new json file and store it here as a it can act as a again a data source coming to public tools as i was saying earlier you can create a chatbot and integrate it on your website and it and connect it to your knowledge base so it will respond to the user query based on the knowledge base it has so we will cover all these deep dive in subsequent sessions depending on your response on this video then unit testing you can test your agents and the analytics as the name speaks it will give you the different metrics of your queries or like how your agent is being performing or what is the accessibility and stuff like that guys that's all for this video it was a quick overview on how ai agents in automation anywhere looks like what are the various options available and stuff like that so thank you so much for watching this please feel free to subscribe to the channel in case you want such more videos thank you so much